They are asking, who gave you that much power and authority to speak the way you do? They are so intimidated. They are asking, who gave you that much power and authority to speak the way you do? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know why I'm laughing because people do not know themselves to go after others. They go after others. You see, when Jesus was affecting his earthly ministry, he said he was the son of God. The people were so angry. How dare him call himself the son of God? When he healed the sick, raised the dead, they said he was operating by the spirit of Beelzebub. They did not believe he was the power of God. They thought he was operating by the spirit of Beelzebub. And Jesus answered them and said, If he is operating by the spirit of Beelzebub, how can he be casting out demons? He said, A kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. How can he be working against a kingdom they claim he is for? I got to realize that when people do not know themselves, when they do not have an identity, they get to fight people who have discovered themselves and have their own identity. They get to question your power. They get to question your authority because they don't have theirs. If they had their own authority, if they had their own uh, power, they would not really care much about you. They would not really care much about the things you do. Critics are people who have not built anything for themselves. I realize that people who have built things for themselves, they don't have time to look at what others are doing. They are focused on what they are doing. They are focused on their own assignment. Critics have nothing to do with their lives except to look at what people are doing and criticize them. So do not be, do not be, they, they just feel intimidated, all right? They feel intimidated by the things you do. They feel intimidated by how you go about it. But do not let what they are saying slow you down. I know of people who stopped prophesying because they were criticized for it. I know of people who stopped preaching about tithes because they were criticized for it. You should not stop doing certain things because you are being criticized for it, but because you have had a conviction. You have had a conviction. I know of lady women, we stopped preaching because they were criticized. They were told a woman is not supposed to preach. On what authority are you preaching? But they received a call from God. God called them into the office of a pastor. But because they were exerting so much power and authority, the people felt intimidated, questioned them, and they felt like, I can't stand this heat. I have to let go. If you are convinced about what God wants you to do, if you are convinced about your assignment, do not let anyone talk you out of it. Do not let anyone dis discredit you. Do not let anyone discourage you. Hallelujah. Keep going. Let your results do the talking. Let your results make noise. Do not let naysayers manipulate, it, manipulate you into letting go of the things that you have been convinced and you have a conviction about. Hallelujah. Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you. Keep your cause's face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.